score live coverage of the men's 800 meter run. Five and a half laps of this 160 yard track. There is Stanley Redwine of the United States who is one and one half points behind Ray Brown in the Grand Prix standings coming into this meet. The prize qualifier, Mark Belger, great story on the man from Burundi, Giadani Kizera, and of course the confrontation between Stanley Redwine and Ray Brown to see who wins the seasonal Grand Prix title in this event. The man from Burundi, Kizera, is a 19-year-old high school student in Minnesota, which is not very near Burundi. And the last close-up you saw was a 30-year-old Mark Belger, who had some great years at Villanova back in the middle 70s, and it's a shock to many to see him in this race. Five laps to go as they come by the start-finish line right now, and the young man from the number 121, has fallen in right behind number seven, Ray Brown. Ray Brown's strength is his strength. He's not afraid to make an early move, but right now, coming up on his shoulder, that is... 97 Stanley Redwine and Redwine of course is the man who's chasing Brown for the overall Grand Prix title in the event. The race, the Grand Prix race is up, up front. The race of the night is up front. I think those two are going to be one two and uh, uh, my guess is that Redwine will win because he has superior speed. Brown does not have great speed but he will, he can carry a fast pace a long way. Incidentally, if you're track and field aficionado and you're wondering where the great American half-miler Johnny Gray is, he has not had that active and indoor season and is missing this meet. Belger has already dropped out. Two laps to go now as they come once again by the start-finish line. It is still Brown, Redwine, and the young man from Burundi, Kizera, who is in third place. Down the back straight now, and as they come around this time, they'll have one lap to go. Now here goes Stanley Redwine. Redwine is the man who is one and a half points behind Ray Brown. The winner of this race is going to win the Grand Prix and the money bonus in the 800 meter run. And right now, Ray Brown is struggling and it looks as though Redwine is going to pull away. If you can see Ray Brown's face, you know he's struggling. He's trying his hardest. He's got all the speed he can get up and he's still making a one more move. Meanwhile, look at Giovanni Cusera from Burundi. Almost got there at the end and it was a very close finish. Who won it, Jim? Well, from here, and I'm looking straight down the track, I have to believe that Stanley Redwine held on, but Ray Brown was able to make one more move down the stretch. Unofficially, around 148.2. Let's take another look now as Brown made the last gap. One last effort by Ray Brown in the dark shirt in second place. Look at him. The body is rocking. He isn't. He's just throwing everything he has into it. It's no style. It's just hard. Oh. Hard to tell. There is a picture of a photo timer that takes pictures every one one hundredth of a second. And that is studied. They, they, they put those pictures down, they put a hairline down, and they try to find the winner. Oh, what a close season in the men's 800 meter run. One and a half points separated Brown and Redwine as they came into the meet. And less than a few inches separated them as they hit the tape tonight. We'll find out, or hope to find out who won, when we come back between the two Grand Prix leaders, Stanley Redwine and Ray Brown. Marty, here's a chance for you to comment on this as Ray Terrific Brown made a move down the street. Terrific race. You, you haven't seen two runners give their all like this in quite a while. Both of them are exhausted. Ray Brown did all the leading, and to his credit, Stanley Redwine moved out in the second lap when he saw there was some pushing around, and, uh, and that really paid off for him. All right, for more on that, let's go down to the man who's in a dual role, president of the PAC, and also sharing a few words with us, Dr. Leroy Walker. Did you just shut up, right? Okay. Stanley, congratulations on a very fine run. It appeared that you were going to let Brown sort of take that race along at his own pace until you decided to make your own move. What was your strategy in that race? Well, before that, I'd just like to give the honor to God. And uh, as far as my strategy, I was just going out to do my best. It was a good race, and uh, I was blessed enough to do as well as I did. Well, tell me about it. How did you feel when he made that kick on the back stretch coming home on you? I was a little confused. He went a little earlier than I thought he would. And, uh, you know, you, you make one big move indoors. And uh, I tried to fight him off with the turn, make him go wide, make him work a little hard. And, uh, you know, he was able to pass me. And I, I thought I 
sit for a little bit and maybe get one last shot at the end. Well, it was good time, and we're looking forward to you guys doing great at our World Indo Championships in Indianapolis. Congratulations, Stanley.